What's up everyone? It's Nick here with the Buzzlux YouTube channel. And today, uh, this is uh, the case I'm using for my budget Linux gaming PC. Uh, it's the Rosewell F FBM-002. So this case is uh, really inexpensive actually. It's probably the, the cheapest case you can get. <laughs> At least from what I found, uh, you know, shopping around. Um, and it's actually really nice for consider considering it's only around twenty five dollars when it's on sale. It comes with two pre installed fans, a one hundred twenty millimeter in the front, and then I believe an eighty millimeter in the back. So pretty good uh, considering how cheap it is. Most cases in this price range come with no fans whatsoever. So this one actually with this one actually uh, including fans, it makes it a really good bargain. So. I'm just going to do some uh, shots of the case here so you can kind of see what it looks like. It looks a lot darker in person than it does on pictures on the web and stuff. The glossy front. Very, actually a very good looking case. It doesn't look like it's a really cheap, cheap case at all. There's the ventilation on the side there. The top here, this um, big button is actually the power button. Reset button. Uh, these are some activity lights. And have your audio jacks, a mic jack, uh, two USB 2.0s. Uh, now, one thing, if you can see that, the USBs aren't really centered. This top one isn't. It looks like it's kind of off to the right, but looks like it'll still work. And you can probably bend it back when I put a USB device in there. So yeah, here's the case. Excuse me, I'll just open up the side panel here. Here's the side panel. It's actually, you know, it wobbles, of course. I mean, it's a $20 case, but it's, it's metal, you know, it's nice. It's pretty sturdy, actually, considering. All right. Go take a look at the inside of the case here. Bring this a little closer. Okay. As you look inside the case here, as you can see the back here, there's one of the pre-installed fans. Now I'll make sure to update you further on in one of my other videos on how noisy these fans are. Um, I don't expect them to be super quiet, but hopefully they're not extremely loud. So here's inside the case here. As you can see it's a top mounted power supply case here. Um, at the bottom it has expansion slots, four of them. It's a micro ATX case, um, but they are uh, punch out slots. So once you take them out, there's no way to actually put them back in. But I'm guessing whoever buys this case is only gonna punch out the top two for their graphics card. And you know, you'll probably always have a graphics card in there. So no big deal. Um, yeah, so there's your IO connectors here. We went over earlier, just all the connectors you need for that. Um, this front fan, which is nice, it actually has a Molex as well. Let's turn on the light here. There we go, that's better. Actually has the, the Molex connector as well as a, as a three pin. So if you only have like one extra three pin, like the motherboard I have only has um, the CPU uh, power connector, CPU fan power connector, as well as the, an extra case fan. So I'll use this one back here for that and I can just use the power supply Molex for this one. So definitely nice if you only have a couple uh, fan headers on your motherboard. Here's just a little accessory bag here. It looks like it has a, a motherboard speaker as well as all your standoffs and extra screws for your drive bays. Now for the drive bays, looks like it has spots for three, uh, three and a half inch drives, uh, as well as two, um, or one, huh, on the front here, it only has a one five and a quarter inch drive bay, and then a three and a half external. But on the inside here, it looks like there's extra room on the top here. So you could probably fit like another hard drive up there or something. Interesting, okay. Um, anyways, here's the case. Looks pretty nice. Give me a 
second, I'll just flip this around. Open the side panel up here. Here's the rear side. Not too much room back here. Not really any cutouts to even cable manage very much. Um, I don't even think you could fit a cable through this back side here because it's like it's flushed exactly with the side panel. So I don't think you could run cables back here even if you wanted to from the top. Um, not really even sure. I guess this is just to have some some cooling behind the motherboard of some kind apparently. Um, but uh, the edges are actually rounded on, for the most part on this case. I don't really feel any extremely sharp corners, which is nice for such a cheap case. Uh, you know, oh, on the inside here, there's some sharp corners. Like if you reach in right back here, that's sharp. Not bad though. I'm not. That's like the only spot I'm really feeling sharp, uh, sharp corners. Is just right in here, but you wouldn't really stick your hand there that much, I don't think. Not bad. So that's just. Sorry about the camera work here. I'm trying to do my best, but uh, that's just the, how it looks, you know. Overview of the case. Not bad for the money. Again, this is the Rosewill uh, FBM02. Thank you for watching. This is Nick with the BuzzLux YouTube channel.